Miss Kim. Everybody say hi, Miss Kim. Hello to all of you. Today, we're going to play some movement games. Let me get my ball. Our first game is going to be energy ball. Are you ready? energy ball. Let me get my ball. I'm going to throw the ball to you, this ball of energy, and you're going to catch it. All right, don't drop it. Here it goes. Oh, good catch. Now I want you to throw it back to me. Thank you. Here it comes again. Good catch. Throw it back to me. Good. Here comes one more time. Oh, thank you. You're getting good at that. Now that we've thrown the energy ball back and forth, I want to see if there's another way that you can throw it to me. Could you kick it? Could you throw it over your head? Could you throw it from your chest this way? Could you bowl it to me? Let's see different ways you can throw me the energy ball. Alright, I throw 
Come back to me. Very good. Game two, opposites. Opposites are things that are not like each other. They are on one side of each other and then all the way on the other side of each other. So an opposite would be like low and high or loud and quiet. All right, so what I'm gonna do is let's go over a few opposites and then after that, we're gonna play a game with them. Okay, what is the opposite of low? High. That's right. What is the opposite of big? Small. That's right, these are pretty easy. What is the opposite of laugh? Ha, 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 ha. It would probably be cry. What is the opposite of quiet? Loud! What is the opposite of tight? Loose. The opposite of tight is loose. What is the opposite of doing something once, one time? The opposite would be repeating or doing it many times. What is the opposite of bored? You're so bored. What's the opposite of bored? Excited! What is the opposite of walking in a straight line? The opposite of walking in a straight line is walking in a curve. Line. All right, let's see now if we can play our game. We're going to use these opposites to play. So if I say high, you're not going to do high. You're going to do the opposite. So if I say high, you're going to do low. If I say happy, you're going to be so your brain's going to want to do one thing, but you're going to do the opposite. Get your brain ready. Wake up your brain. Okay, I'm going to call it out. I'm not going to do it with you. I'm going to call it out, and then you do the opposite of the thing I said. Loose. Oh, good job. Some of you started to do loose, but a lot of you did tight. Walk in a straight line. What's the opposite? Walk in a curved line. Okay, here we go. Hi. Oh, good. You did low. Good. Big. Good. A lot of you did small. We're doing whatever you were doing many times. All right, cry. Oh, good, you did laugh. Excited. Good, did bored. Low. You did high. Good job, you did loose. Repeat more than one time. Good, you only did it once. That was great. Now we're going to do the harder round of this game, opposites, okay? So I'm gonna not go over them with you. I'm just gonna say them and you need to figure out what the opposite is. Now if I say happy and you do happy, then you're out. You have to sit down and watch. Okay? So don't do the thing I'm saying. Do the opposite. So if I say happy, you're going to do sad. 
All right, don't get out. Don't do the thing I'm saying. Do the other opposite thing. All right, here we go. On the ground. Right, on the ground would be standing or in the air jumping. Did you get it? These are hard. Moving side to side. What's the opposite? Moving forward or moving backwards. These are super hard. All right, let's do going around. What's the opposite of going around? The opposite of going around something is going through it. Okay, here comes another one. Fast. Do the opposite. Whoa, I saw somebody went fast. If you went fast, then you have to sit down. You're out. Okay. On camera. Oh, the opposite of on camera is off camera. Walking wide. Good. The opposite of walking wide is walking narrow. Okay, we have a few more left. Don't worry if you don't get them. Talking. Good. I saw some of you quiet. You were not talking. Sad. Oh, look at all those opposite happy people. Let's do under. Good. Some of you went over, which is the opposite of under. Uh, let's do awake. Good. The opposite of awake is asleep. All right, you guys did a great job with opposites. It's hard because your mind hears the word and it wants to do that word. It takes a minute for your mind to flip to the opposite. So great job on the challenge. Here comes our next game. Game number three. The name game. Everybody knows your name. Everybody, tell me your name. What letter does your name begin with? My name is Kim, and my name begins with the letter K. Do you know how to spell your name? My name has three letters, K-I-M. I'm going to draw my name in the air. K, it's going to look backwards to you, I-M. Kim, my real name is Kimberly. Not many people know that. That's a long name to spell. So if you have a shorter name, like if your name is Elizabeth, but you go by Beth, do your shorter name for this game. If you don't know how to spell your name, maybe you're in kindergarten or first grade, you can just use one of the letters or the first letter in your name. If your name is Zach and you know it begins with Z, you can draw a Z. Okay, draw as many letters in the air with your pencil finger as you can out of your name. Nice and big. Here you go. If you're in second or third grade and you know how to write cursive, you could write it in cursive. Ready? Go. Don't forget to dot the I if you have an I. All right. Now that we've written our name in the air, we're going to write our name on the floor. This is called making a pathway. So, I'm going to take the first letter of my name, which is K, and I'm going to write it as if I have some paint on my feet. I'm going to pretend I have blue paint. Watch me write the letter K. Did you see the K on the floor? Now, 
Now, if you have a big, big space, you can write your letter very big on the floor. But if you have a little tiny space, you can write it little tiny. I'm going to give you another example. If my name had an O in it, I would be pretending to have paint on my feet. And I would be painting the floor like an O. See if you can paint the floor with the first letter of your first name. Ready? Go. Did you do it? All right. If you know any other letters in your name, if you're younger or older, you can write in cursive. Let's see if we can write our whole name, just our first name and our shorter first name on the floor. All right. Now, you can go from letter to letter by jumping between the letters. Ready? Go. Some of you have longer names than I do. I'm going to jump from the K to the I. And now I'm on the M. It takes a while. When you're finished, come back. Before we go to our fourth and final movement game, I'm going to tell you what we're actually doing today. Yes, we are playing games. But we're doing something called improvisation. Sometimes we call it improv. Can you see the word? Improvisation. It's a really long word. What does it mean? What does it mean to improvise? Does anyone know? Oh, yes. Improvise means you're thinking on the spot. You didn't plan the dance. You're just doing whatever your brain tells you to do at that very moment. We're going to do game number four. Okay. So I'm going to say something like, walk a dog. And I'm going to see if you can show me what you would do if you had a pretend dog. Show me walking a dog. It might be slow, because you have a nice little polite dog. Or it might be fast, because you have a really big dog that pulls very hard. All right? So let's see if I can get you to do these things. Stand up and do them with me. Exercising. Show me any way you think that you could do exercising or working out. Think of all the different things that people do when they exercise. You could get on the floor, do some sit-ups or push-ups. Show me exercising. Keep going. Keep going. Show me different exercises. Great job. All right, the next improvisation with actions you're going to do is walking through the fog. You can't see anything. Walking in the fog, show me that. You're kind of feeling around. You can close your eyes if you want. You're going slow. You're trying to see where you are. You're walking in the fog. Keep going. Good job. All right, the next one we're going to do is you're trying to catch a bus. So the bus, the school bus, you're late. You're getting there. You're trying to run after the school bus. Oh, it's starting to pull away. What do you do? Catch the school bus. Come back. Come back, Mr. School Bus. Hurry. Get the school bus. You're going to be late for school. Go. Go. Go catch the school bus. Did you get it? Show me. How would your body play video games? Oh! Yay! Got a point! <laughs> Our next action is 
cake, don't do what I'm doing. You make up your own baking the cake dance. What kind of cake are you making? Mine is chocolate. Let's taste it. Pour it. Don't forget to put it in the oven. Get to try your cake. Mm. All right. Last one we're gonna do is something that we can't do right now very much. We can't really go meet people. When we meet someone, sometimes we shake their hand or give them a high five or a hug. Since we can't do that right now in real life, we're going to pretend to do that in improvisation. Imagine you have 20 people in your room. They came to visit you. You have to greet each one of those people in some way. It could be a hug, a high five, it could be shaking hands, it could be waving hi. Find a way to greet 20 people in your room. Ready? Go. Did you greet 20 different people? All right, great job on game number four, improvisations with actions. You have done a wonderful job playing some movement games with me today. Thanks so much. And I have to see if our thinking box thought we did a good job today. Thinking box is white today. Let's see if thinking box thinks we did a good job. Don't forget to say, walla walla whoop, to see if we did a good job. One, two, three, walla walla whoop. What did we get? We got flashing white today. Oh my gosh, that's new. I've never seen that one before. All right, thanks everybody, and have a great day. Bye.